The world may be on the verge of redefining what is possible, and at the center of this potential revolution stands Maxwell Chikumbutso, a Zimbabwean inventor who has captured global attention with his extraordinary claims of developing a self-powered car, a vehicle that does not need to be plugged in or refueled. This is not, according to him, a mere theoretical or conceptual idea. Chikumbutso asserts that functional prototypes of this groundbreaking automobile already exist, and not only are they operational, but they have been tested in real-world conditions. As expected, such bold claims have triggered a storm of discussion, online, igniting equal parts excitement, skepticism, curiosity, and outright disbelief. Some have hailed this as a revolutionary breakthrough that could topple fossil fuel dependency and redefine the electric vehicle market. Others, however, are more cautious, questioning the authenticity and scientific viability of the technology, and rightly so, because history has shown us that extraordinary claims demand equally extraordinary evidence. This makes it important to look beyond the hype to analyze the facts, address the doubts, and tackle the key questions on everyone's mind. When will this car be available? Where can it be purchased? How much will it cost? And most critically, is the technology truly real? When it comes to availability, the question of when the general public might be able to get behind the wheel of a Chikambutso-designed electric vehicle remains unanswered, at least officially. As of now, the car is still in the development stage with no confirmed release date from Chikumbutso or his company, Scythe Technologies. Yet there are strong indications that the work is progressing steadily. Chikumbutso and his team are not simply assembling parts from existing EV models. They are aiming to rewrite the fundamental rules of energy consumption in the automotive sector. Achieving that level of technological leap requires meticulous research, optimization, and rigorous safety testing. Bringing such a radically different vehicle to market isn't merely a matter of building a functioning prototype. It's about ensuring that it performs reliably and safely under everyday driving conditions. And that is not something that can be rushed. While a hard launch date may still be elusive, clues suggest the project is edging closer to reality. Scyeth Technologies has hinted at possible partnerships with both domestic and international companies and is actively engaging investors. Unlike some startups that operate in total secrecy, Chikumbutso's team seems open to collaboration, signaling that they are building the necessary support network to scale production. It's worth remembering that even Tesla, now a household name, had humble beginnings and years of incremental development before becoming a global force. Transformative technology rarely arrives overnight, but the steady stream of activity from Chikumbutso's side suggests they are pushing hard to make this car a commercial reality sooner rather than later. If such a self-powered car does come to market, the next big question is, where could you actually buy one? Traditional car dealerships may not be the obvious route for such a unique product, given its unconventional technology and the need to directly educate customers on how it works. Instead, a direct-to-consumer sales model, similar to Tesla's, early approach, could be more suitable. This could allow customers to configure their vehicle online, choose specifications, and have it delivered straight to their homes without middlemen. Another approach might involve forming partnerships with existing electric vehicle dealerships to leverage their customer base and service networks. However, as with any emerging technology that generates hype, the risk of scams and fraudulent offers is high. If Chikumbutso's car gains traction, it's almost inevitable that fake listings, unauthorized pre-orders, and counterfeit versions will surface online. Until Sayeth Technologies makes official announcements, the safest route for interested buyers will be to rely exclusively on verified channels and avoid offers that sound too good to be true, because they almost certainly will be. Reports suggest that the commercialization phase has already begun. Machines are reportedly being produced, and some have been sold to buyers in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. There are claims of a large order from South Africa for around 3,000 units, 
and Zambia has reportedly placed an order for 20,000 vehicles. International interest is emerging as well, with discussions underway with Swiss partners, and at least one car and one motorcycle already purchased by Swiss representatives. Of course, moving from small batch production to global scale requires more than technical success. It demands significant financial backing, industrial capacity, and strategic alliances. Developing revolutionary technology is never just about invention. It is equally about securing the necessary resources to bring that invention to life. The electric vehicle sector is one of the most capital-intensive industries in the world, requiring access to cutting-edge laboratories, highly skilled engineers, advanced manufacturing facilities, and a robust logistics network. While Chikumbutso has not publicly disclosed the identities of all his corporate investors, there are indications of interest from major players in the energy, automotive, and tech sectors. Such stakeholders could provide not only the funding needed for mass production, but also the industry connections required to navigate global markets. Perhaps the most significant endorsement comes from Zimbabwe's own government, which has publicly recognized Chikumbutso's work and even provided land for his research and development facilities. This kind of state support is more than just a symbolic gesture. It can serve as a catalyst for further investment and credibility, signaling to the global community that his work is being taken seriously at the highest levels. Government backing can open the door to international collaborations, grants, and additional private funding. If properly leveraged, it could accelerate Chikumbutso's path to introducing his technology on a global scale. So, what exactly powers this so-called self-sustaining vehicle? According to Chikumbutso, the car uses a micronic energy device, a system he claims to have invented in 2009. This device reportedly converts radio frequencies into usable electrical energy, an idea that, if true, fundamentally challenges conventional physics, and the established laws of thermodynamics. Because of its controversial nature and its alleged incompatibility with existing patent frameworks, Chikumbutso has chosen to protect the design as a trade secret rather than seek a patent. He further claims that the same system allows the vehicle to function as a mobile generator, capable of supplying up to 15 kilowatts of power to a home. In practical terms, this means that in the event of a power outage, the car could keep lights on, refrigerators running, and devices charged, offering a far greater utility than a traditional generator. Performance-wise, the specifications are equally bold. The vehicle is said to feature a 160 kW electric motor, delivering roughly 214 horsepower with a torque range of 320 to 380 newton meters. This gives it robust acceleration and the ability to handle diverse driving conditions, from city traffic to open highways, with ease. The claimed top speed is 220 km per hour, placing it in competition with many performance-oriented EVs currently on the market. It also features two distinct driving modes, a normal mode for everyday commuting and a sport mode that reportedly accelerates from 0 to 100 km h in around 2 seconds, numbers that, if accurate, would make it one of the fastest accelerating cars in the world. The price point remains one of the most anticipated details. While no official figures have been released, Chikumbutso has repeatedly stressed that his vision is centered on accessibility and affordability. He has stated that clean energy should not be a luxury reserved for the wealthy, but a practical choice available to the average consumer. His goal appears to be producing a vehicle priced closer to mid-range EVs rather than premium models from Tesla or Porsche. If achieved, this would dramatically expand the market potential, making sustainable transportation accessible to millions more people worldwide. Of course, the final retail price will be shaped by production costs, scale, and investor backing. Chikumbutso's innovations are not limited to cars. He has also developed a self-sustaining generator and a superbike that reportedly uses the same no-charge technology. The generator, if proven functional and scalable, could be transformative for rural and off-grid communities, 
disaster response units, and developing nations where consistent access to electricity remains a challenge. The superbike remains shrouded, in secrecy, but if it shares the same power system, it could also eliminate the need for conventional charging infrastructure. Naturally, such radical claims have attracted significant scrutiny. Chikumbuzo has said that he has faced challenges in patenting his technology due to its perceived violation of known physical laws, and he has even alleged that he has faced personal threats, including a poisoning incident in Silicon Valley that he claims killed a business partner. Whether these dramatic accounts are true or not, they have only added to the intrigue and controversy surrounding his work. In the end, if Chikumbuzo's claims hold up under independent scientific validation, his self-powered car could be one of the most disruptive technological achievements in modern history. But until verifiable data, peer-reviewed studies, and large-scale public demonstrations are available, skepticism will remain strong. The world watches, waits, and speculates. If real, this technology could completely redefine transportation, energy consumption, and our collective vision of the future. If not, it will serve as yet another reminder of why revolutionary ideas must be tested and proven before they can change the world.